Auladi wa banati. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlam wa sahlam wa marhaban bikum ilal hiswati thalitha. Children, we explain the lesson and uh, we explain the grammar part. Do you remember that? What was it? Ajza'ul jumla. Parts of speech or parts of the sentence. Both we can say because Jumlatul Mufida has another name, Kalam. Kalam means speech, Jumla means sentence. We can say this too. Ajzaul Jumla, Isma, Fi'il, Harf. That much only we are learning in this lesson. Then inshallah, adjective and pronouns and like that things we will learn in the other lessons, inshallah. Isma fi'il harf. I think you got a clear idea about it. I explained it properly and uh, if you listen, you will get it. Then I explained the lesson also. I read the lesson with meanings and I said to you to separate the isma fi'il harf from that lessons. I think you did it. If you are doing, you have to send it to me personally. Then we are going to our Tamreenat exercise. Okay. First, we have to find out some answers. Some questions are there. If you read the, uh, if you are, if you read the lesson, you will get it easily. First question is man kana hamid. What is the meaning of man? Man means who. We learned about the interrogatives also in our previous classes. Ma, what? Man, who? I, which, like that. This adavatul istifam, interrogatives. Okay. Man can Hamid. Who was Hamid? That was our first sentence in our lesson. What was the first sentence? Kana Hamidun amilan fi dukkan. Man can Hamid? All of you tell. Kana Hamidun amilan fi dukkan. Okay. Today we are writing that question answers. Our lesson name was Ana Saeedun Bika. I am happy with you or I am lucky because of you. Ana Saeedun Bika. Ana Saeedun Bika. I am happy with you. Okay, the first question is Man Kana Hamid. I am not going to write the questions. I am writing only answers. You have to write the questions. Uh, you can copy from the textbook. If you have textbook, you can write now itself. Otherwise, you can do it later. Okay. First question is, Man kana Hamid. Who was Hamid? All of you look at the board. What was the answer? Kana Hamidun. Kana Hamidun. Amilan. Kana Hamidun Amilan fi Dukan. Hamid was a labor in a shop. Fi Dukan. Okay, take out your notebook. I think you wrote the word meanings. Difficult words, word meanings you wrote already. Uh, this is our question answers. You can write the heading Ajib. Okay, Ajib means answer. Answer the following. Ajib anil asila answer the following. I am writing short form of that. Only Ajib. Kana Hamidun Amilan fi dukan. Hamid was a labor in a shop. What is the next question? Second question is Ba. Lima kana til ajuzu teta alamu. Why the old woman hurt? Why did the old woman Hurt. Why? Because? Because? لِأَنَّ الْحَتَّبَ Hatabu means what? Firewood. Firewood was thakil, heavy. لِأَنَّ الْحَتَّبَ ثَقِيلٌ Then how can we write the answer? كَانَ كَانَ تِلْأَجُوزُ كَانَ تِلْ Ajuzu Tata Alamu 
ta'allamu feeling pain or hurt kanatil ajuzu tata'allamu li annahu li annal hataba li li annal hataba saqil because the firewood was heavy third question ala madha azama hamid what hamid decided to do what hamid decided to do azama hamid ha oh, what he did azama hamid ala musaadatil ajuz azama hamid azama means decided azama hamid ala ala musaadatil ajuz azama hamid ala musaadatil ajuz the next question kayfa shakratuhu al ajuz how de how thanked how thanked the old woman to him how thanked him the old woman how shakratuhu al ajuz allah yubarik fik shakrat shakrat ho shakrat ho allah yubarik fik shakrat ho allah yubarik fik fifth question hal ta'akhara hamid ani dukan did hamid late to the shop yes how to write the meaning na'am ta'akhara hamid ani dukan na'am na'am ta'akhara تأخر حامد عن الدكان نعم هل هل means do okay or did نعم yes or no we can answer with yes or no نعم or لا نعم تأخر حامد عن الدكان The next question last question is mada qala lahu sahibu dukan what the shop owner said to him what the shop owner shop owner said to him what he said he said anta aamilun munasibun fi dukan ana saeedun bika anta anta aamilun munasibun fi dukani the sixth one سيس كوسي قال صاحب الدكان شوب اونر سيد تو هيم قال قال له صاحب الدكان قال له صاحب الدكان قال له صاحب الدكان انت سوري انا سعيد بك ذات از اور لسن نيم انا سعيد انا سعيد بك انت انت شاب طيب القلب Ah, uh, some uh, some more words are there. I'm not giving that much big sentences. Or you have to learn like this. Ana saeedum bika anta amilun 
Okay, first one. If you want, I will write that uh, letters itself because numbers are not written there. Letters are given, then you will be confused about it. First, uh, Alif. The second question, Kanatil Ajuzu, that is Ba. Then, Azama Hamid, Jim. Next one, Kaifa Shakratuhul Ajuz Dal. Next one, Halta Akhara Hamid Anid Dukan. This is Ha. This is Wa. Okay, all of you write this, all answers in your notebook. If you have any doubt, you can call me. Okay, can I rub this now? Did you understand? Did you write it? Okay. I am going to rub this. Now the board became dirty. The next. Sahihul Jumal. You have to tell true or false. First you have to identify if the sentence is true or false. After that you have to correct the mistakes. Okay. Now Sahihul Jumla means correct the sentences. Kana Hamidun Sahibud Dukan. Hamid was a shop owner. Is it correct? Kana Hamidun Sahibud Dukan. Is it correct? No. Then Kana Amilun. Kana Hamidun Amilun Fi Dukan. Kana Hamidun Sahibud Dukan is wrong. Then what we have to, uh, how to correct it? The first sentence, how to correct it? We can correct it. Sahihil Jumal. So hehil jamal. This is our sentence. Correct the sentences. The first one. Alif. I am writing the correct sentence. You have to uh, write this wrong sentence also. Then after that, you have to write the correct sentence. Okay. Kana hamidun. Can a hamidun sahibud dukan? This wrong. Look at here. Sahibud dukan. What do you have to do? You have to underline this word. This wrong. Then you can write the correct sentence down. How? Can a hamidun? I am writing only example. First one only I am writing. You have to write the next question also, but next I will I will not write the question. Okay. Can a hamidun amilan fi dukan? Can a hamidun amilan fi dukan? Yes. This is the answer. Second one. Ba. Second sentence. Ishtara Hamid al balaa wa aada ilal bayt. Ishtara Hamid. Hamid bought some goods and returned to the house. Is it correct? Is it correct? Hamid bought some goods and returned to his house? No. To where? Ila dukan. Then what you have to write? Ishtara Hamid al balaa wa aada ilal ila dukan. You have to. Underline the word bite. Okay, underline and put 
cross mark okay it is wrong then you have to correct the sentence like this ishtara hamid al balaa wa aada ilal wa aada ila dukan i am writing only that word you have to write the full sentence okay aada ila dukan this only you have to change then alif ba we finish then jim kanatil ajuzu tahmilul balaa ala ra'siha is it correct kanatil ajuzu tahmilul balaa ala ra'siha what is the meaning of that the old woman was carrying the goods on her head is it correct no then what was she carrying what was it al hatba okay instead al balaa you have to write al hatba that only mistake there al balaa is wrong then you have to write al hatba only that word you have to change okay al hatba dal qala sahibu dukan qala sahibu dukan allah yubarik fik who said that word allah yubarik fik sahibu dukan or ajuz what does in the lesson ajuz old woman ajuz shakarat to ah uh, shakarat to who shakarat to whom to hamid okay allah yubarik fik then what we have to say here qala sahibu dukan you have to change that word qalat who said that qalatil ajuz okay or you have to change the word allah yubarik fik instead allah yubarik fik you can write jazakallahu khair okay in any way you can do because uh, for, for, uh, you can uh, change that word qala sahibu dukan instead qala sahibu dukan you can write qalatil ajuz okay the next one dal qalatil ajuz you can write like this qalatil ajuz the next one wow ma uh, ha haka hamid qissatil ajuz fa ghaliba sahibu dukan hamid said the story of the old woman ah then he became angry who the shop owner is it correct no then what he did for batasama he smiled he was happy with him he was happy with him and he smiled okay then you have to change the word ghaliba ghaliba means became angry is it correct no then fa ghaliba instead fa ghaliba you have to write fa batasama okay ha fa batasama instead of aliba you have to write fabtasama he smiled okay this is the correct now fabtasama finished this much only to do this uh, activities at home some more um, opposites are there singulars plurals and uh, to separate um, this uh, part of speech and some more things are there and preposition you have to add some prepositions and uh, make some sentences now so many activities are there so many tamrina there we can do it later inshallah we are stopping now all of you read one more time man kana hamid kana hamidun amilan fi dukan second one lima kanatil ajuzu tatallamu kanatil ajuzu tatallamu li anna al hataba saqilun ala mada azma hamid azma hamid ala musaadatil ajuz kayfa shakratuhu al ajuz shakratuhu al ajuz allah yubarik fik hal taakhara hamid an al dukan naam taakhara hamid an al dukan mada qala sahibu al dukan qala sahibu al dukan anta ana saeedun bika anta amil مناسب في دكاني then sahih al jumal correct the sentences first kana hamidun sahibu al dukan is wrong we have to write kana hamidun amilan fi dukan then ba ishtara hamidu al balaa wa aada ila al bait ila al bait is wrong you have to write ila ila dukan okay next 
كانت العجوز تحمل البلاء على رأسها بلاء سرّع you have to write instead بلاء الحطبة and ك next قال صاحب الدكان الله يبارك فيك you have to change into قال قال تل عجوز حكا حامد قصة العجوزي فغلبا صاحب الدكان instead غلبا you have to write this this message لي إن شاء الله we will meet again you have to learn it properly السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته